Alito, my name's Ryan Spring. I'm the director and GIS GPS specialist for the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma Historic Preservation Department. And uh, I'm gonna be talking with you guys a little bit about these uh, Choctaw winter huts, or the Choctaws. Choctaw people, once they started feeling um, kind of those cold grips of winter, you know, just the, the temperatures would drop they would start moving into the um, winter houses from their summer houses. Winter houses were, unlike the summer houses, the winter houses were made to keep people warm. I mean, they were made um, with a family setting in mind. As you can see from the choka behind me, um, the way it worked is you had vertical posts that would form the wall, and then you'd have a clay and grass daub that would kind of work in between the posts and that would create your insulation. And then on the roof, you could use grasses or palmetto, river cane, all sorts of different thatching on top to kind of hold it together. Usually the houses were dropped about three feet into the ground and they would have a circular entrance. So you'd have to hunch down and kind of walk in a spiral pattern around to the front door. And then you'd have to hunch down even more and drop down into the house. And that was a technique used for protection. That way, you know, if you were attacked, only one person could get into the house at one time. But also, it just kept the wind out. Um, they didn't really have, you know, we didn't use doors or anything. So by creating that, that long entrance way, it helped insulate the house. So once you got in, you know, to your home, there would be these um, river cane uh, couches slash beds built all along the sides. And that's where family members would sit, that's where family members would sleep. Underneath they would store a lot of their items. Hanging above they would have all of their different foods. Stalks of corn maybe laying there. You could have maybe your squash drying, hanging from um, the racks. And then in the center of the house would have been your fire. Now, depending on different areas of Choctaw country, some houses had a small opening in the roof for the smoke to get out, and then some houses didn't the smoke they kept in the top of it, which helped to possibly preserve food, um, but also to keep it insulated. Um, so it just depends what part of Choctaw country you go to. I mean, Choctaw people are made up of a, uh, of a diverse group of people in the Southeast. So different villages, different families did things differently, just as we do today. So the house itself, um, as I said before, is made of these vertical posts, and then you have the mud daub clay but in the center, which holds the roof, are four posts. And then built upon those posts kind of creates your frame to hold your roof together. There's a lot of engineering in Choctaw houses. You know, we don't always think, you know, we think of engineering and science and other tools like that as a, as a new thing, but they're really um, just a new way of thinking about it today. But in the past, we had, you know, all this, you could say, you know, advanced technology, advanced techniques. The houses were sound, they um, held together very well. Um, throughout the year, you might add, you know, when you're not living in it, or even if you are during the winter, you might add a little bit of daub on the side, anything that's fallen off. You're constantly keeping it on on the inside. It's really low maintenance. If you're using palmetto or cane on your roofing, what's neat about the palmetto is it's, um, it's really plastic-like. And if you layer it starting at the bottom and work your way up, it works just like shingles completely waterproof, uh, it insulates very well, and um, if you ever needed, you know, if you had a leak or something, all you had to do was pull off some of the dead fronds, put some new ones in. So you would just do a little bit of roof maintenance on your house, but it, it, wasn't, it wasn't too much work. During the 1700s, which is what this house looks like, usually it would have been traditional for your women to build the house. The men uh, would lay the, the four center corner posts and maybe the posts around the side. Um, but the house belonged to the woman. Um, the woman owned the, owned the house, the men didn't own property. So it would have been up to her and her family to build their house. Um, when a new couple got married, um, that's what they would do is they would, um, the, the woman would get with her, her mother and her family and they would build her a house for her and her husband and their, and their kids. Later on, you see a transition. Choctaws, just like, um, any other living people, our culture adapts, it evolves. So 
Choctaw people started picking up the um, kind of Euro-American French style log cabins. Early 1800s all the way up to the 1850s, they made these specialized log cabins that um, they still had logs stacked, you know, like Lincoln logs, stacked up along the sides. And then they would still use their kind of traditional roofing type like they would with these chokas. Um, but they would still have a dirt floor. And uh, really, it's really similar. It's just they would use a new wall technique. Um, maybe it lasted a little bit better, maybe a little bit uh, less maintenance. Uh, Choctaws were very adaptable people. We've always adapted, taken things that um, we see are great and important and readapting them to our culture. And that's, that's, one of, that's an example of one of those. Really the, a good example of a summer house is what you'd see at Tushkahoma at the Capitol grounds. There's a summer house there in the, in the traditional village. Um, there's also example, more examples of these winter houses too. So depending on the needs of the family, depending on the time of year, they would transition between these two houses. Later on, we start moving towards um, cabins like you see the Americans having in the southeast, the dog trot cabins, such like that. And you can see a lot of examples of those cabins. Um, still around southeastern Oklahoma, if you look carefully, you can still see a lot of old cabins scattered on the landscape that are from the late 1800s. Housing was important to Choctaw people, you know, as, as a community and as a, you know, as a family. Choctaws, you know, you would walk into the house and, you know, there would be your family there. Um, there might be some food cooking on traditional pottery on the fire. Um, you might have a visitor. You might have maybe some relatives there. But um, you're always going to hear a lot of laughing, which is laughing and food. Thank you.